The chart you are looking at shows the ratio of the gold price to the St. Louis Federal Reserve's adjusted monetary base dating back to 1918. The monetary base roughly matches the size of the Federal Reserve's balance sheet, which indicates the level of new money creation required to prevent debt deflation. Previous gold bull markets ended when this ratio approached the 5 level. Several interesting points on this graph are the crisis of 2008 when the gold monetary base peaked at 1.08. As the price of gold peaked in 2011, the base again began to collapse as it has since 1979. It approached a point of 0 0.055 with the peak in gold, and then we see a rapid and further decline over the coming years down to 0 0.24 to present day. This refutes all of the fuzzy math presented by gold analysts, newsletter writers, and advisors suggesting that gold is in fact tied to the monetary base. All of the repricing of gold based on these attributable accumulations to the Fed's balance sheet in dollars or debt have proved fallacious at best.